Hey everybody, this is Alex Merced from alexmercedcoder.com. And what I want to do today is talk about one more type of data structure. This is a graph uh, typically used for things like social networks. So you work with graphs every day. When you post on Twitter and follow someone, when you post on Facebook, these are all graphs um, where basically, instead of there being sort of a root, everything can connect to everything. So let's keep it real simple. Let's say here we have Joe, Steve, and Lisa. And here, so we have to basically create sort of a, a, a matrix of sorts. So Joe, Steve, and Lisa. Okay, so now of course, Joe is not gonna be friends with himself. Okay, so basically we can kind of put X's there. So now, if this is what's called a undirected graph, that means that relationships goes both ways. So this is like back on MySpace or on Facebook. When, when, so when Joe asks Steve to be his friend, so now Joe and Steve are friends, well, it goes the other way too. Now Steve is Joe's friend as well. So that's unidirectional. Okay, so basically when one when, when it goes for one person, it goes for the other person as well. So basically they're both now each other's friends. That's like, again, Facebook and MySpace. But what about Twitter? When Twitter, when I follow somebody on Twitter, I don't, uh, autom they don't automatically follow me back, unfortunately. So, so if Joe were to, to follow Lisa on Twitter, so me, Joe follows Lisa, but Lisa doesn't follow Joe. That's called a directed graft. So basically, all these relationships, they have a particular direction. Okay, and because of that, they um, it's just represented differently. So here, so you can tell, when you take a look at a matrix, if, you can tell if it's direct or undirected, because if you were to go like this, this side's going to be symmetrical with this side. So in this case, it's undirected, because see, this doesn't match that. So if these were both circles... So then these would be sort of, and then let's say here, that's an X and that's an X. It's it's sort of uniform on both sides. Circle, circle, X, circle, circle, X. So it's symmetrical. The relationships are both the same on both sides because it's an undirected graph versus a directed graph where you could have a non-symmetrical look. Now, how could that could be done far as what data structures you use? You could use just a different array. So basically what would happen is that, you know, uh, Joe, Steve, and Lisa all have an array assigned to each of them that lists all their relationships. Okay, in that case, you know, Joe's friends with Steve, so we put Steve in Joe's array and Joe in Steve's array if this is undirected. And then we just keep track of that in that. The other way is the matrix, as you saw before, which would be done through sort of a, a multi-dimensional array. So essentially an array of arrays. So essentially you would have sort of one big array and then each person sort of with their own array, creating that matrix, those nine spots that we're seeing there. Either way it works, whether you're doing a two-dimensional array or a multi-dimensional array where you have arrays within arrays or whether you're just doing sort of three individual arrays and keeping track of the individual relationships. Um, there's pros and cons to different ways of doing it, as far as how you search and all that. And again, that gets back into big O complexity, um, which we'll revisit another time. This is the last of the data structures that I wanted to make sure we went over before I start getting into design patterns. So hopefully this helped you understand sort of how a graph works. Bottom line is, again here, everything can connect to everything instead of like the binary tree where basically you had the different nodes kind of stemming from each other. So everything kind of was connected to one thing or another thing in a, in a very particular direction. So I will uh, see you guys in the next one. Have a good one.